What I thought was is that you could tell me everything that annoys you about me, and then I could do the same for you. We can make a list, but we have to promise to be honest with each other and not to take offence to what the other person says. And then we'll know exactly what's wrong with us and we'll be able to put it right, won't we? In any relationships we have in the future, we'll stand a chance. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Right, you start. Tell me exactly what a bloke wouldn't like about me. Must be something you're obviously not thinking hard enough. You're scared, aren't you, in case you write anything bad and I start shouting. Yeah, well, you do have that tendency, Stace. See, now we're getting somewhere. By the way, you've got that tendency as well. What else? Well, you're a beautiful girl. Any man would be lucky to have you. Any man? You're right, we should move forward, not look back. You make good mates. Yeah, our best mates. That's what I just said to my mum. Yeah. And you're really not seeing anyone? No. Sorry, I was thinking all sorts. Well, you can stop. And we're going to help each other out, aren't we? You just say the words, Stace. Good. No, I think it's good that we can be best mates after all that's happened. Yeah, it's great, yeah. Do you think Abby and Lauren will be all right with me? Maybe you should talk to them. Oh, I could talk to Stacey, them. Stacey, it's fine. I'll, I'll talk to them. They'll be fine. Well, do you want to know what annoys me about you? Yeah, go on. I can't wait. The way you agree with people all the time, so you don't have to say what you actually think. And you're self-obsessed. It's all about you. And you're threatened by people who are smarter than you. Especially if they're women. And you don't care who you hurt, because you just think you can charm him back. Mm. Should we leave it at that? Sure. Mate. I'm so glad we had this little chat. So, you're going to tell the girls you made this at your first joinery class? Yeah, I might. I think I've got special talent for it. I already you have. <laughs> That'd be the kids. Must be gone nine. They've got keys, though, haven't they? Stay here. I'll get rid of whoever it is. I bought you a present. Well, Oscar a present. Oh, thanks. Mozart. <laughs> yeah, for babies. It's good for their brains. It helps them sleep and stuff. Oh, right. Well, that's that's really thoughtful. Thank you, Stacey. Well, I can put it on now if you want. Um, no, it's all right. Um, I'm, I'm on my way out, actually, to pick the kids up. So. I'll let you share. I've got really nice new bags and belts you can try on with that. Shall I go and get them? You can um, do it now. I'll tell you what, why don't I come to the store tomorrow and we'll try it then, yeah? Oh, okay. Right, I'll just put this on. No, Stacey, Stacey, I'll do it. Right, right Stace. What are you doing here? I'm just helping Tanya and build a dressing table for the girls. Should finish off Tanya? Yeah, Stacey's just. Oh, I knew it. You denied it and denied it, but I knew it. Stace. Oh, you lied to me, Max. You said we were best friends and then you lied to me. How could you? With her. I didn't lie to you, all right? I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk. No, we're the same, Max. Why, well, we made a mistake. We messed everything up. We can't go back now. Right, get out the back. Get off me. Oh. I thought it was my friend. I thought it was my friend. Max, you made the biggest mistake of your life, Max. Right, Who's girls. that? No, uh, nothing. Just go upstairs. 